Good morning, guys. It is 3, as in 3 a.m. We are on the way to the airport to go catch a flight to Chicago. We woke up at like 2 in the morning. Uh, ungodly time to wake up. And we got dressed and ready. And we're ready. Ready for this? Ready. I'm so and, uh, excited. No butterflies in my stomach. Those regular pre-flight pre -flight jitters. Pre-flight? We will fly! <laughs> we have our travel pillows. Um, no, our luggage is. In the trunk? Why would it be in the back seat? I don't know. I have my function bag, my travel companion with a whole bunch of crap in there. So much crap. So much crap. And yeah, um, hopefully when we get over there, the see mirror will show you our travel outfits. And we'll see what happens when we get to the airport. Cause like I said, it's three in the morning, our flight leaves at six. So it's pretty early. So it's not like we're gonna be out drinking at a little club thingy bar thing. Drink, there's a... I don't know, I'm not gonna drink at this time. I think I'll give a drink at this time some Starbucks. Show me the Starbucks. Show me the way. Yeah, they have, like, I'm sure they have shops and places to get some drink and eat before we get on the flight. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's our journey. We will talk to you when we get to the airport. So, what's up, guys? We, um,. We made it through all the stuff for the check and all that stuff. You know how you guys fly, you know how it becomes a hassle. It's a little thing. So we're here. We're I'm actually we're in the United Club lounge. Um, we just had some like breakfast and stuff, a little coffee. So cool. This is actually awesome. Recommended. It's pretty freaking good. So yeah, we're just gonna hang out here for a little bit. Um, get on the plane in about, about an hour, about an hour, and then we'll see you guys in Chicago. Good day. Hey guys, so we are in the United Club, the United Suites Club. Uh, Victor has a United card, gets miles and all that big more stuff. So we came in here, had some breakfast and some coffee. Now we're just chilling in the TV room. All for us. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Our luggage. My bag. My man. Hi, sir. What up, though? Not the pants. My outfits of the days. Mm hmm. Oh. Alright guys, we will be boarding our plane in about 15 minutes, so we'll see you then.
where the local time is approximately 7.04 a.m. We will be taxiing for the next few minutes, so please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened and all items stowed until the seatbelt sign is turned off. Please make sure you have all of your personal belongings and be careful when opening the overhead compartment. You are now free to use your mobile phones and small lightweight devices in transmit mode. If you are connecting, please check the United app on your mobile device or see the airport displays for up-to-date flight status and gate information. On behalf of United, our Star Alliance partners, and your entire flight crew, we thank you for flying in friendly skies with us today. We hope you've had a pleasant experience and we look forward to serving you again on another United flight. Microsoft now, like window windows. We arrived. We're here. Now we're making it to the Blue Line, which is going to be the way we get to our hotel for like two dollars instead of paying like fifty something for a taxi. We're hungry. Why do people go on these walkways and walk? Oh wait, sorry. Phones didn't. Oh, I adjusted. Did it? At 7.35 a.m.? 8.35. Weird. This is a long walkway. Yeah, let's walk. Alright. Walk on the walkway. It's just weird when you walk on the walkway. Do as the Romans. in the front of Lake Michigan. We finished up our breakfast because we had like a big long croissant from Starbucks. Um, I'm sweating a like a pig. It is 10 a.m. here. The earliest they could give us a room is noon. So we have two hours to kill. We're trying to see if we find like a little strip mall or anything to kill the time. We already have tickets to do like a city tour. We have like two day tickets. But we want to like drop off our stuff at the hotel. We were able to drop off our luggage, Dude, but so cool. um, we still have other stuff we want to. Hey, I remember this from Chicago PD. Oh. Huh. <laughs> so yeah, um, we still have a couple more things we want to leave at the hotel before we go on that big sightseeing tour thing. And we also got tickets to go to the Sky Deck. And the most important thing we got tickets to go to Manchester United! <laughs> Crazy man. 
and we're both wearing long pants so we have to roll them up because we were really hot and yeah i think we're in millennium park oh i guess they do like symphonies or whatever over there oh, wait 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 Alrighty. see and there's chairs and that is stuff. Freaking cool. That is pretty cool. Oh, is that a bull over there? A big white thing? It's like an animal. About to go find out. <laughs> this is the BP bridge, according to a lot over there. So yeah. BP bridge. Oh yeah. All right, so we found pretty cool landmark, pretty monumental here, Millennium Park. Yep, yep. The one and only Bean. This is the place to take a selfie. The place. I don't see myself. I'm not close enough, yeah. Oh, 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 oh! We're still not on the stairs! Oh, oh, oh! Still not. Hello! I don't see me. Oh, I see me. Ah. There we are! So we have made it to... Uh, oh. Giordano's Famous Pizza Pizza And guess what we ordered? The Famous Stuff Pizza Halfway through our first slice Ordered some wings What do you think of it? Delicious yeah. Look at this deliciousness! It's like backwards. Sauce on top, cheese on the bottom. Really thick crust. But really good. We got it cheese and sausage. We've been walking around waiting for our room Like this. <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> that works. Yeah, we've been waiting for our hotel room to be ready. Um, we were walking on the Magnificent Mile, which is Michigan Ave, which is like Fifth Avenue, New York. Uh, we went to like a little mall area. It's fun. And we stumbled upon this place. Victor really wanted to come to it, so we came in. Yo, guys. So far, it's only been three hours since we've been in Chicago, and if you've never been, you gotta book it. You gotta go and book it and make a trip to Chicago. So far, what I've seen, amazing city. There's just like, so much going on. It's a good thing, like not not in a bad way, in a good way. Like by the lake area, it feels like you're by the beach, and you have the New York City feel. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Right behind it. And I also recommend to get yourself some of this. You come to Chicago and you don't have this, you didn't have a good trip. <laughs> you didn't have really go to Chicago. Come here, guys. Come here. Come here. Got some cheese and sausage. Um, um. Interesting. Wait, what? <laughs> right here. Tiny. 
I like the bed though. It's nice. It's nice and tiny. Oh, no view. No view? Alright, so this is our room, the door, our closet, which is basically just our Manchester United jerseys, and this t-shirt that I got Victor, and we have a little desk, and we have a TV, the bathroom is in here, dun, dun, dun. la la la, we came home and changed. This is what I'm wearing now. Um, we took a quick shower because we felt really nasty from like being in the airplane and like sweating all day. Um, and yeah, have a little table, coffee maker, bed, nightstand, another little vanity thing. And that's pretty much all. Now we're getting ready to head out the door again to go on our little trolley tour. Um, and that's pretty much it for now. I'm wearing my Go Pinker Go Home shirt that I got from like Victoria's Secret for like 10 bucks. Little shorts that I also got from Old Navy for like 10 bucks. My free knit sneakers. And my hair up because it's freaking hot out. And Victor changed out of long pants to shorts. Because like I said, it's freaking hot out. So we're going to head out again. We'll see you out in the streets of Chicago. The Navy Pier. We just got out of Margaritaville. Had a margarita. We had a beer. And here we are. Under the Ferris wheel at Navy Pier. Water's over there. Beautiful, clear skies. Carousel over here. Mini golf under the Ferris wheel.
guys, so yesterday we decided to head out to this Irish pub because we saw a tweet that a whole bunch of Manchester United supporters were gonna meet up at that bar and then head on out to the Four Seasons, which is where the players are staying. So we decided to head on over there last night. Excuse me, I am wearing a towel, I am not naked. So, um, we head out to that bar and Victor watches this YouTube channel called Full Time Devils and the host of that was actually at the pub yesterday and Victor got to meet him and he took a picture with him. What's his name? Adam McCulley. Adam and he's here from Manchester, right? Yeah. So yeah, he made a trip for the game. He's been going around like the whole tour. And he was really cool. We hung out there for a while. Then we just started making our way over to the Four Seasons. And when we got there, it was pretty obvious that the players were staying there. <laughs> because there was a huge crowd waiting for the buses to arrive. And we literally got there and within a minute, we heard the sirens and the tour bus arrived. So obviously it was already madness. Um, Victor was actually able to catch some good video on his phone um, of the players arriving. We couldn't get close enough for like autographs or pictures or anything. And they really just kind of walked into the hotel. They did get there like at 10 p.m. last night. They had been traveling all day. So I'm pretty sure the last thing they wanted was to stay out for like two hours and like Even take pictures some, and sign with us. Some players, some players like, yeah. you know, want a lot those kind of players, you know, a few players, they stood out, they signed a few autographs. Yeah. Because, you know, they have to wake up dumb early today. <laughs> Go practice. Go <laughs> practice a little bit. Uh, so the game tonight is at 8. We're thinking about heading out there maybe 5 or 6. See if maybe we could catch anything at that time. Um, we I didn't finish the vlog yesterday because honestly we were so dead tired. We got home at almost 11. And all we did was like lay in bed and pass out. Guys. So I didn't finish the vlog off yesterday. So, quick little, I don't know if I told you guys this the vlog, but our flight was like at 6 in the morning. And... We went to sleep at like 10 Wednesday night, so Monday night, <laughs> right? Monday night. And at around 11, 11.30, my ass wakes up and that was it. Like, I didn't go back to sleep at all. Both, you know, both were set up at like 2, so we could go to the airport. I didn't sleep a week at the, on the plane to only touch down to Chicago and hit the ground running. Yeah. Like, I had no sleep. I was done. I was Devastated with sleep. <laughs> I didn't know what to do. I was just kind of running off like adrenaline. Adrenaline and just shit. I don't know, it was crazy, but I did touch that bed and it was <laughs> <laughs> So he was pretty excited. We were actually going we had a whole different game plan yesterday. I, I think we've been like taking pictures and stuff. We haven't been informing you as much as what we've been doing. Um, but yeah, we were on. We got tickets for like one of those double decker tours. So we're on the double decker tour, and we pass by the Aeon Building, which we used to sponsor um, Manchester United. And we see the tour bus, and we're like, "Don't tell me the players are there." So we're trying to figure out where the next stop for the little tour bus is, and it was like ten blocks away. I feel like. We got off as soon as we saw the next stop and we started walking towards where we saw the bus. Little do we know, we see the bus pass and we're like, uh, great, it left. So we like sit down on a random bench in the middle of the city. I'm like, all right, we missed the bus now. I need to find somewhere else to find it or I need to go on Twitter and find out who knows where these players are staying. Like, we're gonna meet them, we're gonna do something. So I go on Twitter, a quick Twitter search is where I found the tweet for the pub that we ended up going to last night and them saying that they were going to be at the Four Seasons. We were going to go, there's like a fountain near our hotel called Buckingham, Buckingham Fountain and they do like a light show at night and it's supposed to be really, really pretty and that's like what we were going to do last night because the light show was like at 9.30. The meetup for all the Manchester United people was going to be at 9. So. All of our chance, com all of our plans completely turned, and we decided to make it a full Manchester United night. And I mean, we got to see the players, like, granted, which is really good. <laughs> granted, this trip came about because of the team. Yeah, exactly. Um, the only reason, the only reason why we're even here in Chicago today, speaking to you guys, exactly, is because of them. It's true. So 
you know, we spoke about it. We were like, dude, what do we do? You know, well, at the end of the day, we are here for them. Yeah. So we decided, let's go. We I mean, like, like as spectacular as a light show can be, like, that does not be the once in a lifetime chance of possibly getting a picture or getting to meet Wayne Rooney. So. I'm like, you know what, babe, I think I'll be okay with not seeing a little bit of a light show. And we could go head out to their hotel and try to meet them. <laughs> like, try, like, guys, I don't know if you guys um, comprehend the severity of this. <laughs> <laughs> We're all the way in the US. Yeah. This team's all the way in the UK, literally across the pond. It's a really big pond, it's across the mm -hmm. pond. The chances of us ever going to Manchester, Manchester England, Old Trafford are, I don't want to say slim to none, but they're pretty close up. <laughs> <laughs> um, let alone seeing the players that we love and watch now. Exactly. Um, so ha having them come here to the U.S. and come as close as Chicago for us was, was a big no deal. brainer. Yeah. You know, so well, that's good. So today is going to be more of a, well we did a lot of touristy stuff yesterday, but today we're going to get back on the little double decker because we got a 48 hour pass and we're going to just stop at the stops that kind of piqued our interest because yesterday we just wanted to do the whole tour and then like make note of what stops we wanted to get off on. So that's what we're going to do today um, and yeah, hopefully take some more good pictures and keep enjoying ourselves. But oh my god, I feel like a truck run over me. Like my feet hurt, my hips hurt, like muscles below my waist hurt that I didn't even know existed. Um, it's just craziness. So I need to go get ready to start the day off and charge this camera because it's already flashing. I forgot to charge it last night. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys on the guys, other side. We will, if we don't vlog as much today, we'll probably be on your catch a fish but the game tonight, we're definitely going to be vlogging. <laughs> we're going to be out there, we're going to have our camera. I have that camera. I'm still not sure if I'm going to take the DSLR camera. Um, probably not, just because I want to be carrying around too much stuff, because I'm going to be having my jersey in my hand. Um, I got a nice little outfit that I'm going to show you guys. I think you guys are going to like it. It's going to be dope. Um, but yeah, so we'll definitely have the vlog camera. To show you guys some nice footage, probably of us yelling and chanting and screaming. <laughs> um, we're gonna try to get there early to see, hopefully cross our fingers, maybe catch some more glimpses of the players. With any sheer luck, I'm not gonna wood, I pray to the heavens above that any player signs my jersey. <laughs> dope, that'd be crazy. But nonetheless, that's our plan. See you guys outside. Oh yeah, and I never said hi. Today is Wednesday, July 30th. 